Matt Blackburn and you're watching Divine Superconductor TV. Today I'm going to do a video review of Patrick Flanagan's Neurophone. So it is this device and there were about four or five iterations of this. This is the NF3 model. A new one named the NEO just was released. And that's uh, capital NEO, stands for Neural Efficiency Optimizer. I went to the release party and I received the NEO. I was not impressed in relation to this one. I feel a lot better effects with the NF3, so I've stuck with this one. What the Neurophone is, is it's an ultrasonic device, so it puts out 40 kilohertz or 40,000 hertz of ultrasonic frequencies. And it's through these transducers. So the way it works is that it goes on my forehead, under the chin, and around the ears. And just make sure the hair is out of the way. So it looks like this. And then I flip this switch. And it's on. You can adjust the voltage. So this is it in the back. You just open it up. And it's just a, a 9 volt battery. I use rechargeables. And you can actually adjust the voltage there from 5 to 20 volts. I usually keep it between 9 and 20. So like I said, I use rechargeable 9 volt batteries and they just sit in a dock and I can recharge them multiple times instead of using disposable ones. And the Neurophone comes with this guy, which there's an out and an in jack. So you put this on the in jack and you can actually, I have a iPod dedicated to the Neurophone. So I did an experiment for six months where I listened to subliminal messages through this. The benefit of that is that it bypasses the eighth cranial nerve, which is the normal path that information takes when we hear it auditorily. It goes into the brain on a certain highway called the eighth cranial nerve. This is transmitting sound or frequencies through the skin. So if I play music on this, here I have whole tones, it's going to go right through my skin so it takes a different pathway and my brain processes that sound differently. Now I'll get into where this device started. 1958, at the age of 13, an inventor named Patrick Flanagan developed this device. He was kind of like a child prodigy. He says that he's one of the reincarnations of Nikola Tesla keyword is one of, so I guess a soul that big splits off, and parallel realities is a whole other subject. He said he remembered was wiggling his toes and thinking, oh, I have to regrow another body. But he invented this at 13. He built missile detection systems for the military, just like a prodigy. Getting to the science of this, the benefits are it triples blood flow to the brain, it increases IQ, and anything that you read or listen to while you have this on gets put into long-term memory a lot easier. So when I'm reading or studying, I tend to use the Neurophone. The best use I've found from this that they don't really advertise is for driving. When I'm driving, any time that's half an hour or longer, I'll keep this in the center console and put it on and it makes driving a lot better experience. There's a lot of evidence coming out on ultrasound right now. I'll put a link below on ultrasonic frequencies and the potential for them to heal the brain. The work of Jerry Pollack that wrote The Fourth Phase of Water, this look that brought easy water to the mainstream, he said that ultrasound actually creates easy exclusion zone water or structured water. That's a recent revelation that I've had with this, is that what it's doing essentially is it's creating easy water in your brain. It's structuring the water in your brain, and that's why it's so healing. It's extremely beneficial to autistic kids, ADHD, things like that. They found that kids that have those problems, mental disorders that swim with dolphins, have a lessening of symptoms because they're actually getting those dolphin frequencies in the water transmitted through their skin ultrasonically. 
and they reap the benefits of those frequencies. So this has been called a electronic dolphin because it's similar frequencies to the dolphin. And in fact, the inventor actually worked with the Navy with human dolphin communication devices, so a translator that translated dolphin squeaks into English and vice versa. I believe they got up to 40 words that were translated before the operation was scrapped. So I guess they said that it was a threat to national security or something. Interesting other note on dolphins is that their temporal lobes on the side in relation to their brain are two or three times the size of ours. So we have these temporal lobes on each side of our brain and those are responsible for new memories, language recognition, and they in interpret visual stimuli and they're highly involved in auditory processing. So the neurophone activates those. It's also interesting to note that we have a pea-sized gland in our inner ear called a saccule, and that gland is an ultrasonic hearing organ that whales and dolphins use, reptiles, and some mammals. And that responds to these ultrasonic frequencies, and it vibrates. So what's interesting is, when I first wore this, for the first week or so, it wasn't that loud. But the more you use it, the louder it gets because you're training those ancient ears that you've never used before. So in here you can actually adjust the volume up or down. And if you put it all the way down you won't be able to hear the music if you plug in an iPod or something. So I usually keep it keep it up, it doesn't bother me, but if sometimes you'll hear some squeaks and stuff, especially when you run your hands over it. So if that gets annoying I'll tend to turn it down. Turning it down doesn't affect the effect of the neurophone, you still get the same benefits, just you can't hear it as much. I mean, there's a three on, on the front, so you know, they know what's up. Yeah, this is a great device. They run, when I bought it, it was about seven, eight hundred dollars. It's about the average price. The new one is about four forty-four, the Neo, but I highly recommend the NF3. I feel it a lot more. This is a hack for driving. At some point I'm going to make a video on driving hacks to reduce driving fatigue. This is one of them. Another another benefit is in concerts. These are your internal earplugs. So when I go to a concert, I'll wear a beanie and I'll wear this. And I don't have ringing in my ears after a concert. It's creating the ultrasonic frequency and it's stimulating that saccule and it's vibrating it. So sound coming in, this is stronger because it's getting beamed directly into my head. It kind of pushes out everything else. That's been my experience. And that's one of the less well-known things. I've never heard that from any of the Neurophone users. So driving and concerts are my favorite time. And studying, just whenever I'm on the computer, whenever I'm researching, I keep this on. Look on YouTube, there's a lot of videos. Just do Flanagan, spelled like this. Flanagan Neurophone, and you'll find a lot of videos on the Neurophone. This is one of my top devices. This, the intranasal therapy device, and what will soon be the Quantlet, will probably be my three top devices that I'll use the most. Because I've been trying a lot of devices, I've tried the whole Bob Beck protocol. Technology doesn't have to be a bad thing, it can help us cope with what we have to deal with in the city. This is also beneficial for a high EMF environment, I found is to have your this ultrasonic frequency going into your body and vibrating. So check out the Neurophone. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment below, like this video, and look forward to more reviews and biohacks and detox protocols, etc. I'll bring you guys along for the journey. Alright, take care.